JavaScript doesn't have a module loading system like other languages, for example, Java or Python. This means that if you wanted to call a function in some other file, you have to remember to explicitly load that file via a script tag before you call the function. If you tried to use some code that you forgot to add via a script tag, then JavaScript would complain. Other languages have a module loading system. For example, in Python, if you wanted to use some code from another file, you would type something like, well, like something you see on the screen right now, import foo from bar. The language itself figured out where bar was. It loaded it up from the file system, extracted the function foo, and then made it available to you in your file to use. This feature was missing in JavaScript, so the community developed their own solutions, such as CommonJS, which is what's used in Node. ES6 took the best of the existing module loading systems and introduced this concept on a language level. But although it's made it into the ES6 standard, it's actually up to the JavaScript engine makers to implement it, and they haven't done so yet. So until that happens, we code using the ES6 module syntax in TypeScript, and then when TypeScript transpiles the code into ES5, it uses the common JS module loading system, which we touched on before. Now you can configure TypeScript to use other module loaders, but the default is common JS. So let's demonstrate how this works. I've created a file called utils.ts, and inside here I'm gonna create a function square, pass in x, and it returns So I create a function called square, we pass in a value x, and I use the math.pow function to square x and return it. And I create another function called cow, and that just prints out moo to the console. To make these functions exportable from this file, and therefore importable in another file, we need to use the export keyword. So in this case, I'm exporting an object. The object has a property called square, which points to the function square, and another property called cow, which points to the function cow. But if you remember from the lecture on destructuring, we can actually shorten this to just this. So this exports an object with a key and a value of square and a key and a value of cow. Now let me create another class called script.ts. And we now want to import the functions that we're exporting in our utils.ts into our script.ts. So what we do is we type import, and then we use the curly braces syntax. We type the names of the functions that we want to import. So I want to import square and cow from, and then we provide the name of the module or the path to the module that we want to import. So I want to import from utils. There's no need to type .ts, we just type utils. So now that we've imported those functions, we can actually call them from our file. So let me just call square2, and then let's also call cow. So to compile these files using tsc we just provide both of them in the same command so i'm going to type tsc utils.ts and script.ts so that's now compiled so you can see if we look at utils.ts it's compiled it into es5 and if we look at script.js it's using require is the common js module loading system so it's basically compiled it to use common js but then we can just run our file like normal by using nodes we run script.js and then it's printing out four which is the square of two and it's printing out moo just as we expect we may want to import a function with one name but then use it via another name perhaps to avoid name collisions or just have a more convenient naming 
So for instance, let's say I wanted to not call the function square, but call it SQR. So I would type import square as SQR. And then instead of calling square, I would just call SQR. So let me compile again. And then call again. And it's just the same as before. It's printing out four. Or if we wanted to import everything in a file, we can just do import star as utils from our utils file. Now we can refer to every function from utils through this utils object. So I can then call utils.square and then utils.cow. Compile, run. Just the same as before. So going back to our utils.ts, as well as describing our exports on, on line nine, just by exporting an object, we can also export functions or variables as they are defined by prepending the word export to the front of their declarations. So if I got rid of this on line nine, we can just type export in front of function square and export in front of function cow. Now if I compile everything and run it again, it still works like before. So if a module defines one export, which is the most common, we can take advantage of the default export syntax. So let's say we're saying that the function square is the most common function that people are going to use from our utils file. So we can type export default function square. And then when we go back into our script.ts file, we can just type import square from utils. Now notice we didn't have to put the destructuring syntax of brackets around it. We just said import square. But if we did use the default syntax and then we additionally did want to import the cow function as well, we would have to type import square and then again cow from utils. Then we could use it just like so. So in summary, with ES6 modules, we finally have a mechanism for letting the language deal with the loading of dependent files for us. But this isn't baked into JavaScript engines yet. So to solve this problem in Angular, we still need to use the ES6 module loading syntax, but leave it to TypeScript to transpile into ES5 and use CommonJS or whatever other module loading mechanism we want to use.